I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody take the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. You know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. What was I swear I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. And collaborate with others even if those that they may not necessarily like because it's not about personal feelings this is dr it's nikita y'all our community our candidates understand the importance of making tough decisions and accepting constructive feedback even when it's not popular or maybe even hurt their feelings but make no mistake this doesn't mean they should tolerate abuse. They are public servants, not doormats. This is not a popularity contest, but a call to action. It's about accepting and respecting that not everyone will like, agree with, or support you. Some may start off as supporters, only to change their stance later, and that's okay. It's part of the process, and it comes with the territory. You always remember between the prayer and the promise lies the process. So when faced with challenges, we must thank those individuals and move on. This is how we change the narrative, by demonstrating respect, even in the face of disrespect. Everything doesn't warrant a response. Sometimes it's better to leave the negativity loud and wrong. As a publicist, I've learned the best strategy for peace is no response and anything else is unproductive. I mean, I'm sorry, no response to anything that is unproductive or unattractive. It takes quality leadership, the kind that leads by example. And I believe we found our starting five. So I ask <laughs> that we support these candidates, pray for them, trust them, and believe in them, but not blindly, but with accountability. Hold them responsible for their actions, yet trust their leadership. This is not going to be an easy task, trustees and clerk. To come out of this. There will be challenges. There will be slander. And work, it work and hard work. That's what it takes to make a village. This village. To support them and see them across the finish line. Yeah. Speaking of abuse, <laughs> this next lady I want to bring up here what is, is actually part of the reason what forced me to walk away from that administration. It was the first face-to-face -face board meeting and the way I witnessed in person, this that. woman was blatantly disrespected. We got that clip, y'all. Talked down to. She's old enough to be my mother. Her mother. I promise we won't say that name, so we're not going to say that name. Mm. So let's start by setting some rumors straight. Let's get the record correct from my mouth to your ears. First, concerning the recall. Um, first, everyone knows me in the community. Anybody that saw me grow since 2013, I was a trustee for eight years before becoming your mayor um, in this last past election last year. Everyone knows I'm a fighter and that I will always, always do the will of the people. The referendum questions that the Board of Trustees placed on the ballot is fraudulent. They didn't even ask you guys' opinion as it relates to do you want to recall? Should you recall your mayor, myself, Tiffany Henry? They just put it on their um, the site of hatred, uh, dislike, uh, envy, jealous, whatever you want to call it, for the reason for the recall. I have not done anything wrong. I repeat, I have not done anything wrong as it relates to uh, mismanagement of funds, um, spending money without uh, 
you guys are sent. I haven't done anything wrong uh, as relates to a recall. I do not feel, and I know the residents here in the building do not feel that uh, five people should be able to overtake the system, which is you, the voters. You voted for me. You placed me here. I got 82% of the vote when I wanted to be your mayor. And currently now, um, the Board of Trustees put a recall in place to try to remove me from office that I just won last year of May, May 8th to be exact. I got sworn in in 2021. Um, you guys are my voice. You guys are um, people that tell us what to do. So would you please let your board of trustees know that they are out of line, that they are wrong. Uh, Mayor Kenya has not done anything wrong. And you guys need to work with her and stop working against her. Because right now, um, our community is in need of unity. And that's what I'm advocating for today. Unity amongst communities. And what I mean by that is everyone should try to get along and stop trying to tear each other down. I'm sick and tired of that. And I do want that to change. So board of trustees, I'm asking you guys to come to the table and you need to reconsider what you're trying to do currently now. I earn my seat fair and square and I am here to stay for the tender of my uh, four years at the Village of Belton. Also, I want you guys to know that the community was never notified of this matter. No public meetings to discuss, no town hall meetings, and this was a, a plot basically that took place in the evening and voted on at 10 a.m. at a meeting, which was virtual, uh, with no public participation. So you guys should see where the problem comes in it. Again, you guys elected me, and I guarantee you I will continue to do the will of the people, and I will make sure that I do what's right for the community, as I always have done for eight years being a board as trustee. That's number one. Rumor number two, uh, Quad Ronto, which was placed on the agenda by the board of trustees. Now, this goes to my part of people mad because they don't have what you want. But when I do say this, I mean it. God put you in places where he wants you. Only God can remove you. God gave me the opportunity to be your mayor. God gave me another opportunity, which was shocking to me as well, uh, on becoming the first uh, black supervisor in Thorn Township. So a lot of things are, are going on, guys, but I think God make way and move people and put them in place uh, for betterment of community. And that's what I represent. Um, people are going around saying that Sydney cannot hold two seats. That is a complete alter lie. I know, I don't know if a lot of you follow politics, but there are several different people that hold several different positions, um, including there are several elected officials that hold multiple seats in government. Even the mayor and supervisor of Lyons, which is the client of your trustee, Legislative Council. And I quote, Lyons Village Attorney, Burke Olderson said, the idea that the mayor of Lyons will have to step down was ridiculous, a non-issue. There is no conflict. I repeat, there is no conflict. I've been through this before, Olderson said. So here we have Board of Trustees has the same exact attorney that represents the trustees. Why is it okay for a Caucasian guy, a man, to sit in two seats and um, govern Lyons as the mayor and Lyons as the township supervisor. But yet when I, a young, savvy, black, African-American woman, goes and do the same accomplishment, it is a problem. I, sitting here, has a problem with that. And women, you should too. We should not be able to be discriminated against because we are a woman and we're climbing the corporate ladder just like anybody else. If we earned our stripes, if we earned our, our spot, we should be able to sit in those seats as well. So I have two seats just like this mayor does who have been in office since 2016 holding both seats. I am your supervisor for Thornton Township currently now, and I am also your mayor for the village of Dawson. So I just want to give you some facts so when you hear anything, you understand what the issues are, you understand why the internal fight is going on. So I asked my board of trustees, why would you guys try to remove me from either one of my seats, let alone the recall? The board of trustees really don't have an answer. They're just saying that I do not deserve to sit in both seats. I told them you cannot undo what God has meant for me. And I will continue to stay in both seats and be the leader that the people chose me to be. So I just want you guys to know what's going on there. Next, lawsuits have been filed in appropriation uh, actions involving election rules violations. Also, Pending voter rights and civil rights violation lawsuits um, and litigations to follow the role the trustees, legislative council, older and scope has played in fueling this toxic relationship between myself and the board of trustees. So for the record, it is an attorney that has myself and the board of trustees divided within the community. I say enough is enough. I think Bert Otterson should be fired. I am putting him on the agenda to be fired because right now I feel that he and the board of trustees can fix whatever our relationship is, whatever our troubles are, we can amend it and make it one. <laughs> I will make sure that the will of the people is upheld and that five trustees cannot unilaterally overturn the position of any duly elected official, especially your mayor of Dawson. And I, and personally taking legal action against the trustees for 
uh, neglecting their duties and wasting the taxpayer funds for their misuse of legal actions. And right now, they, they have a lawsuit in place to try to remove me from office using taxpayer dollars. So I'm letting you know now, I am not paying that bill. So this is for the right. I would, I would just like for the mayor and the board to come together and everyone be inclusive in government. So can a mayor, do you mind if the board comes sit in their seats, please? <laughs> I remember this is a uh, I know it's a town. So yeah, it a I know. Oh, but I can't. You can oh. ask questions, but we're asking them after we adjourn. Well, I just, I just feel like it should be more inclusiveness. You know, I voted, you know, for the dream team and not the nightmare. And it's, you know, it's things that I don't like too, you know, but you guys are supposed to be working together. So I implore you guys to work together because I, I know where everybody is. <laughs> you know, like y'all were before the election, you know, y'all can do better. And that, that's all I came for. Okay. And I need you guys to support her. Keep her busy, keep her book and busy. She needs that. That's what you can do. When people ask, what can we do to help? Keep Bania booked and busy. She make t-shirts, she make customized everything. So, speaking of supporting our community oh and keeping businesses in Dalton, with the, with the I would like to introduce our next speaker. When we announced we were having our event at Free and D, It's literally one person here trying to protest. That I was on the roster to say anything, but um, the Lord says, be you so ready, right? <laughs> and being in Dalton, um, God chose for me to be here. And I have always wanted to serve the community in any way that I could, because I know what it feels like to not have enough food on your table. I know what it feels like to not have heat in the dead of winter. I was a single mom and I raised my son on the grace of God. And God sends us through things so that we later can turn around and use our testimony to serve to show others what it looks like to serve. And that is what I plan to continue to do. It was a shock to me to uh, receive the opposition that I did just wanting to serve. And so today is a good day. You know, I don't live in Dalton, but I serve in Dalton. I proudly serve the community of Dalton. And we plan to do that. And we just want to be able to work with the new administration <laughs> to bring more programs and services to Dalton and the surrounding community. Free Indeed Market is not by chance in this community. I'm sorry, y'all. She messing up my bar. The, the scripture, John 8 and 36, says, Who the sun sets free is free indeed. And that's exactly where the name came from. Because it's our plan to continue to serve and to give people an opportunity just because they may need a hand up to give them an opportunity to be served with dignity and respect. And so, while we have the enemy trying to attack on every side, just trust yeah. and know. What are we talking about? Please. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Greater is he that is, is in, in us, us than is in, than in the world. Thank you. Say that. We just got to stay focused. Press toward the mark. No, this the is Dalton, is Illinois. Because we know we got to fight. Hey, yeah. But we will press towards the mark. Yes. Yes. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of the process. Yes. And now she got to get off my property.
Oh, let's get her. Excuse me. That's what I'm talking about. She said, And actually, I wrote this down. One thing about Dr. Scott, she's going to get you together in the name of God. She is blessed because she is a blessing to others. She's like Cheerios, baby. She's good for your heart. <laughs> A few months ago, a uh, YouTuber came in, Tommy G. He came to dog to evaluate the condition. With his shoes. So he decided once he saw what he saw to host a fundraiser for Dr. Scott. Oh, she looks familiar. This is one of Henry's um, goons. Well, you trespassing yeah, now, baby. And it didn't stop. We had YouTubers come in, support. Next, I want to take a moment to thank the media for coming out to cover this moment. I also want to extend my gratitude to the online YouTubers and bloggers for live streaming this content. The support has been overwhelming. Even though we have that ain't against the law. Us, I say thank you for me. There's absolutely no reason to respect. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. And while we believe in freedom of speech, we must remember freedom of speech is not always free. Sometimes uh, she, she one of Henry's trolls, Mayor Henry's trolls. She's one of them that go around yelling and screaming and not really knowing it, the issues. Talking about taxes, but the whole Chicago, the whole Illinois taxes is up. I'm in Georgia, my taxes is up. She talking to the wrong damn people. You know what I'm saying? That's where ignorance come from. Let us move on. Every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. No, I was trustee. a trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know the law. Election council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And right. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Township? 2025. So those elections are the same time? They are. Bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Okay, next. A bullshit? A bullshit? Drunk as yeah. Yeah, slide the city. Oh my, the gym motor needs to ride the city. Slide the city. Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Cause I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight home. Yeah.